How's it going? This is Stuart from uh, Outdoor Hydroponics and today we're going to be learning how to build a deep water culture system. Uh, it's a very simple system, uh, no real moving parts. Uh, this is great for doing it yourself. It can be assembled for under $100 uh, depending on the size and scope of your project. Uh, pretty much, let's go through what we've got here. These are just some five gallon buckets we bought down at Lowe's. Cost about $3 a piece. Over here we got our net cups. These are also about $3 a piece fit directly on top of any five gallon bucket. Inside the net cup you're going to put your hydroton and then you're going to put your plant in and you're going to make sure the water is aerated with one of these air stones right here. And the air stone is going to go right in the bottom of the bucket. It's going, to, it's going to be attached to this right here which is the air pump. The air pump is going to feed through this wire into the air stone and it's going to pretty much put a bunch of bubbles in the water that will provide aeration because plants need lots of oxygen around those roots in order to get growth. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a little hole in the bucket right up here at the top. And that way uh, you don't want to drill them down at the bottom because water is going to be in there. So you're going to drill it right up here on the top and you're going to want it to be roughly the size of this uh, 3 quarter inch hose right here. So here we go too easy. Let's make sure our hose fits in there. Might have to give it a couple more goes. Hose fits in there nice and snugly. We're going to run it down to the bottom of our bucket there, and that's where we're going to attach it to our air stone. Let's go ahead and grab that. It just slips right on. And that's pretty much what it's going to look like right there. It's going to be just sitting at the bottom of the bucket, providing aeration to the water, and the hose right here is going to be coming out over to your machine that, uh, that pumps the air. All right, so here we've got some water in our bucket. We've got our air stone uh, in there ready to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on the pump so we can see what it looks like, make sure it's working. There we go. And as you can see, that single air stone there is going to provide a, a lot of aeration. In fact, uh, the bubbles coming up from the top, once you have your net pot on there, it's going to actually create an environment that's pretty humid inside of there because all the little bubbles uh, spray the water up and that's great because you don't want to fill the water level all the way up to the top of where the net cup is. Uh, the, the goal is to have the roots grow down into the water so uh, the extra humidity created by the bubbles sometimes helps it, the, the roots stay moist uh, while they're still on their way down into the bucket itself. So there you have it. Pretty much what's going to happen is we're going to we're going to plop some uh, some plants in there, whether it's a seed in a Rockwell cube or a clone like these. These here are some basil clones that I've been uh, maturing in, in a cloner for a couple days. As you can see, they already have quite a bit of uh, root growth there. So I would probably at this stage take it, place it directly into the, uh, the system and uh, just make sure that uh, it's filled with hydrogen so that way the plant's supported and these roots are going to go ahead and just keep growing until they eventually grow down into the actual uh, water of the bucket itself and at that point it it gets pretty explosive growth uh... sometimes if the roots aren't quite there yet uh... you might want to hand water from the top for the first couple days uh... just to make sure the roots stay moist uh, until they have an opportunity to grow down into the bucket itself